Today is the faded day that we are finally going to make a god dang market watch talking about accessories. Now, we, I can tell you that we're not going to cover everything that you want to see. Uh, this is going to be a thing over time. Give me time, I, I gotta work out the kinks with this for sure, but we did get in yield anime deck boxes. That was at least where I wanted to start for the most part. So show me some love, like this video if you guys want this to continue. The market is always vastly got so much available on it, and it's surprising that people don't know where to look. All right, guys, let's dig on into this discussion, shall we? Welcome back to Market Watch, ladies and gentlemen. The highly requested, we're going to go through some searches and talk about a couple of things here. First, what you see here on your screen is the new exclusive Dark Magician Funko Pop. That was leaked that is going to be releasing as a hot topic exclusive and i know a lot of people haven't really got the chance to talk or hear about this but this should be releasing by the end of the month i repeat this should be out by the end of the month so if you were looking to branch out your Yu-Gi-Oh pop collection the next one is going to be available to you in full decorated banners wrapped up beautifully and i think it looks gorgeous honestly now Update to the dice game bullshit. Now, attribute dice set. The shit's, I'm pretty sure, is fake. Uh, we got a Judge Dice Purple available. $35. Also, please note the uh, game up here. Uh, interesting. And then we kind of start to get into the Millennium Dice. As you can see here, we have the key dice being listed at $40. Uh, 35 basically what you're gonna find yourself with official dice you're gonna be looking at anywhere from a 30 to 45 dollar price tag on pretty much most of these which I mean honestly it, it definitely makes sense Millennium scaled puzzle 60 bucks and then see once again those shown and jump attribute dice definitely good price tags now the yield divine dice oh man this is always a shit show so ooh, we got 38 lowest available all right that's good uh, gold stark mat still plowing around at decent numbers like all right so 70 dollars for the dice the field center and whatnot 38 just for the dice uh, we got a 40 dollar one here that's good. That's what I like to see. And then the whole elemental dice set for fucking 350. But you've got a very solid range here of prices honestly available on these. So there's that. I think that's pretty important to kind of take note of what's available on the market. Now, regional mats. What the fuck do we have available on the secondary? For those of us that like these. So, we have the Fantastical Dragon Mat available for $55. Mat looks fantastic. The beautiful Elemental Saber Mat down here, available free shipping, by the way, for $20. Uh, some of these old mats are really, really cheap. Uh, the 5Ds, beautiful X Saber Mat, $25. Montage Dragon, $25, free shipped, which is actually really good. I've got the Ceruja Mat down here for $45. We have Ebon High for 33 Once again, more of these, more Phantasmi mats. Uh, the Akashic Magician mat. So I love this because of the whole uh, female Yu-Gi-Oh card thing, but for some reason, these are relatively cheap. Adelie mats coming at 65 Topological Bombers at... That was 60 there. Black Luster mats also got a lot of value for it. Holy shit, Rainbow Dragon mat for fucking $200? World Championship Qualifier, 450 No thank you. Now, we're going to jump ship here. Yield Judgment. Now, you have to remember, there, there are fakes of these circulating around on the internet. I know it sucks, honestly. But when you start kind of sorting things out... Here, we'll go highest first. So, God, the Shiri Nui mat's $500... Official Judge Matt, oh my god. Dark Lord X Chill for 270. Harpy Lady Assist Judge Matt, hmm. 
I didn't even remember that this came up. Damn, that looks really good. I like that. Fucking sweet. Uh, the Blue Eyes Judge Mat, 180. Uh, the X Chill Mat, still pretty decently priced. Uh, I don't even remember the Summon Sorceress Mat. These things are 100 at the moment. Necroz Judge Mat, 80. Huh. Uh, I remember this floating around, but. Friend Disillusions up there. We kind of start getting down into the, the fakes. Alright. Moving on along. Yu Gi Oh! Asian Championship Playmats. Oh, this is unofficial. No, thank you. All right. The holy shit. The Asian Team Series Champion Playmat is available for $1,000 on the secondary market. $44 for 24 months, by the way, on those payments. No, thank you. Yikes. Uh, the Chaos Judge Mat is available for a decent price. Uh, Asian Edition 2014. Asia Plus Championship Yield Pendulum Scales. Matt doesn't look bad, but not for 185 uh, Evermax is available for a decent price there, actually. That. This looks really good, actually. Holy shit. Oh, man. It's even got, like, the sh gleam. Nice. I like that. 100 bucks. That's not bad. Uh, Trickstar Mat available for 135 uh, Asia Shadal Mat, 188 um, These were floating around for a while, but the person who was trying to sell me one wanted too much. I still think that this is too much. The YOT Mat. You can also tell by the shine on the mat and the corners and stuff there that that looks so good. Like, uh, the Asian Exclusive Harpy Mat. This mat also looks gorgeous. We have had one of these, and you guys have seen it in the past in some of these videos, but it pops so damn well. Immortal Phoenix Mat at 75. Now, ooh, what is this? I don't remember. Oh, there is a Guard Dragon Mat. Huh. Damn, that looks good. I like that. Pisty and Elpe? Autumn Season. Huh. Available for 80 bucks. $15 ship. It's about 85 Uh, Asia Convention Exclusive... Uh, Blue Eyes Mat, 105. That looks pretty good. Huh. The Magical Musket Mat's like 55. That's not good, but it's not terrible. I guess that's the end of, uh, our adventure on that. Alright. Let's, let's see what we got here. Um, damn, $200 on the official Medulshay Mat. 175... Silly fan art. Yeah, those are expensive. That's what I got out of this. All right. So for those of you that also don't know, uh, there is Korean Yu-Gi-Oh cards available to you. I just kind of wanted to walk through here and kind of show off things for the collectors. I got some stray PSA graded, some blue eyes. Damn, red eyes alternative dragon looks hot, actually. Secret evenly looks hella good. Ghost rare blue eyes. Oh. Ultimate Dragon, RC-02 for Korean. All right. That Phantasmi also pops. Holy shit. Like, I do need to do more Korean openings. Holy shit. This. Oh, it looks so good. Damn. All right. PSA graded Yu-Gi-Oh! Korean cards is kind of funny. I don't know why you would ever do that. Honestly. A great Shogun. Oh wow, they also got the nice foily rainbow rare too over there. I'm so jealous. Box is so expensive for some of these products. But like it's then you got stuff like this, Labyrinth of Nightmare, like seven twenty seven bucks shipped. It's not bad. Dark Magician sleeves, huh? Eleven bucks. All these PSA graded cards. No thank you. Alright, moving on along. Anime deck boxes. So, there's a good deal on the Steins Gate deck box, available for $9 if you want to pick it up. I actually have one of these on my floor here. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. So, I'm not going to go snipe it. You have the chance to do it. You've got buildable deck boxes here. I'm not a super big fan of how those are looking, but it's interesting. Nonetheless, they're going for you got random Titan deck boxes. You've got so much available to you. I mean, 15 bucks with $3 shipping is a bit for some people. 
you have other ways of getting some of these. But you have to remember, once they're in hand and out of print, the way that the Japanese market works on these is literally once an item goes out of print, it's it's straight gone. Like, good luck, have fun. Recreator deck boxes, by the way. Uh, this deck box is the shit. Fucking, I love that. So, that's a little bit of a look into the anime deck box market. Sakana deck boxes actually aren't bad. Alright. I jokingly said we were going to cover PSA graded cards. So for $7,250, you can buy a Dark Paladin with the corrected art, PSA 10 graded, by the way. Perfecto. And then we've got Ye Olde Dark Armed Dragon, actually. Uh, so pricey. God, PSA, LOB, PSA 6, by the way. This has a score of 6. But it does say first edition on it, so for $75 a month for 24 months, I could own this Blue Eyes White Dragon. God, these are so expensive. Kaiba Man? Does, is there even... Ugh, I shouldn't ask this, but is there actually a market for PSA-graded Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Like, does this actually fucking exist? Hold on here. I'm going to jokingly... Come here, completed. Where the fuck did you go? All right. Ended recently. All right. Is there actually a market for these? Holy shit. Sold June 8th. PSA 10. Jump Blue Eyes. Holy shit. A Dark Paladin sold for $6,400. There's a market for this. There's actually a market. Okay. Fuck me. I thought this was a fucking joke. All right. Disgusting. $6,000 for a Dark Paladin, by the way. And it's sold. Fuck. All right. Well, last but not least, we have fantastic Blue Eyes figures available to you. Uh, the believe this is the new Union version available for basically 400 and some dollars. It looks nice. I'm not about the price tag, though. No thank you. Man, some of these old ones. Hello, Kaiba. By the way, 6000 fucking dollars. And it's sold. Actually. Holy fuck. Why? Why is there a market for this? Okay, well, thanks for watching, Marco Watch, guys. I'm gonna go confusably cry myself to sleep now. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a triple shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.